Today, we're gonna to be talking about navigating COVID at work. We're gonna talk about the challenges of remote workers when you're not used to it. We're gonna talk about culture, communication, keeping people positive during this time. I'm Brady Nash, and this is The Accidental Entrepreneur. So, geez, um, we were fortunate at BNG. We had a lot of people on laptops. We actually, uh, through a couple acquisitions, had people already working remotely. Um, and our tech team, kudos to them, we were really set up to move uh, to remote work very, very quickly. Um, I understand not every business is meant to be that way, but I want to talk about some of the things that we've been doing to give you ideas. There's some people uh, that have done things far more creative than us and some people that haven't done anything. So hopefully this will spark some of the ideas. I think one of the big things is communication. Um, you know, we use Zoom meetings. Um, obviously, there's tons of other, uh, you know, go to meeting, join, join dot me, uh, video conferencing, um, which is a big tool so you can see faces and um, keep some of that rapport going. Um, we try to um, do a lot of fun things to support the community that really brought our team together. Actually, uh, what I'm wearing right now, um, you know, we're in North Dakota, Fargo, North Dakota. We wanted to help support some small businesses. And so we're donating 100% of all the profits um, to uh, small businesses in need in North Dakota. So uh, we came up with this MD Smart campaign. One of our team members was uh, showed our uh, ambition and creativity um, core value and uh, brought it up and uh, a bunch of our team members rallied around it. And so uh, we started this uh, to help, um, you know, encourage the community in the state. Um, we, uh, we normally do a birthday month where we have everyone together and celebrate everyone's birthday. Well, with obviously no one in the office, we decided to buy everyone uh, meals, deliver to their homes uh, uh, so they could have a meal still on the company. And I encouraged the managers of the departments to try to orchestrate it so they'd have uh, a lunch together and they could joke and talk and they didn't have to be focused on work. Uh, we also provided them with gift cards uh, so they could uh, get food um, for their uh, for themselves uh, or a gift card towards a business in need. It could have been a restaurant, could have been a retail place. Again, just trying to support the local community. Um, and that really brought, um, what do I wanna say, togetherness that really helped unify uh, the team. And I think there's a lot of other people locally doing these things. So hopefully you guys are finding ways to not only support your team, but supporting your team, you could also support your community and other people in need. Um, I think that really helps. I really believe um, the secret to living uh, is giving. Uh, that fulfillment factor is, is huge. Um, it's why I build the business the way I do it. I want to build and make money. Yes, that's important, but how we build our business is more important to me. Um, taking care of our team and taking care of our customers and bringing way more value to them than what they're paying for. And so, again, going through COVID, um, it changes the ball game. Uh, I think a lot of people are missing that social aspect, people dealing with depression, and there's a whole uh, psychological aspect to this. And and so as a leader, I'm going to talk about two sides. As a leader, I think you need to be encouraging. I think you need to be motivating for your team. Um, I think you need to, uh, you know, for us as a company, we have an inspiration manager, formerly our, our dream manager, um, that is set aside to meet with our, our, our team and encourage them and help them focus on whatever aspects of their personal lives that we can be doing that on. We have B&G Grow, uh, which is now going to be focused on the career path of what things can they do to further their skills so they can further move up in BNG and provide more value to our customers um, or to their career path, even if that ends up meaning uh, we end up losing a really good employee because we train them into an area, that's okay. We're committed to uh, people and uh, we want their time at BNG to be a blessing, even if it's one year, five years, or 10 years. So that's our commitment uh, to investing into people and in their, in their journey. Um, the interesting thing is we've actually seen a lot of productivity go up um, in a lot of areas. I think there's less distractions. I'm not saying that I want it, I, I want it that way, but it's been a, a side effect we've noticed is I think there's less um, pros and cons of it, more pro productivity, probably less connection, right? And so we have to do things to keep the team connected. And whether that's arranging team calls, uh, we just did an all hands on deck meeting where we talked for an hour, kind of a you know, state of the union, you know, where are we at as a company, the, the good things that are going on in each division to keep people uh, feeling um, uni unified uh, and talked about the future. Um, and also unknowing when we actually get to come back to, to the building, but um, that went a long ways. Um, you know, another thing in culture, I think there's, you know, I mentioned some of the fun things that we were doing for the community, but I also think like one of the things that makes BNG BNG was we work really, really hard, 
it's not work hard and then play. It's we have fun while we work. We have fun doing really good work. We laugh, we joke. Um, you know, for some people that might throw them off that came from another environment, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. We take doing good work very seriously, but we joke and we laugh. I remember in the early stages when we were losing money, um, you know, when we, our plan, our plan budget was, oh, we're going to lose a hundred thousand dollars. And I remember me and my business partners laughing. Um, and people were like, what's wrong with you? It's, we had a plan, we had a vision, but we just thought it was hilarious that we budgeted for a loss, right? And, and those of you that have invested into any technology business or a recurring revenue model, typically is you're sacrificing upfront revenue for long-term gain. So typically there's a loss, there's a commitment there. And we've been through that multiple stages in our career. Um, and so we always laugh, um, you know, when things get so ridiculous or a ridiculous challenge, instead of getting really mad, our reaction was we'd laugh about it, we'd joke about it. Uh, not because we weren't taking it seriously, but because we don't want to waste energy and getting angry. Uh, you know, uh, the, the core value, one of the, the, my favorite core values for BNG is happy and grateful. And it's not that things don't, bad things don't happen. It's not that, you know, everything's sunshine and rainbows. It was just like, you know, there's no reason to be freaking out and yelling um, and losing our cool. It's, you know, we uh, get very aggressive when things get um, difficult to overcome that challenge. We don't waste energy and negativity. We, we, we want to use our energy and effort to fix a problem. And when things fall apart or happen as life happens, we just laugh about it. Um, and that seems to help us get over it. I think um, one of the things is we use Slack. I, I think Microsoft Teams has their own communication tool too, is we, we joke, we have a random channel and people post funny stuff. Um, it's a way to, you know, people to, you know, be sarcastic, uh, to make fun of the, the, the world, the environment or each other in a lighthearted, friendly way, not a mean way. Um, I think that's really helped bring people together. Um, and again, remember it's time. You can't fake relationships. Either you invest time into a relationship and you have it or you don't. And so make sure that you're, uh, deliberate on focusing time, taking time uh, as a leader to thank your team. We made sure we told them how important the job they're doing to so supporting our community um, um, and our ability to keep working where some people can't work right now, we do. And how important that is to work when you can work and, and the value that that provides. And I think people need to be reminded how important they are in, in a business um, and how much you appreciate them being able to work from home or, or, or uh, compromise. You know, maybe some people are getting laid off or they have to cut back in hours. And you know, if they're doing that, let them know how much that means to them and that you're fighting for them. And, you know, you're trying to find ways that you're in this together, I think is super important. Now I want to talk about <clears throat> um, people at home. So there's the business owner side. There's also, Hey, what you can you do to help a business going through this on an entrepreneur side? Sometimes people forget the stress that a business owner has of not wanting to lay people off, especially people like us. I view our team members as family. Um, you know, people getting loans, going into debt, uncertainty about a future. You have people that maybe have worked their whole lives and did all the right things. And all of a sudden, no fault of their own, they don't know if they have a future. That can be super stressful. So I think there's also understanding for people that have the risk, the entrepreneurs, is being compassionate of what they're going through. The thing that I would encourage any leader or team member in really anyone in this world is being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes perspective um, I always try to relate to other people and try to take everything I know about them and put myself in their shoes. I think that makes me a good at sales because I'm trying to look from their perspective. And I think if everyone did that, the world would be a better place um, from an owner trying to relate to their team members or the, the problems and the fear that they have. I try to address them as an owner to give people confidence and reassurance um, and support them to create an environment where they can you know, survive, not only survive, but thrive in the environment. And you know, vice versa for employees to be able to give the owners um, and leaders confidence and to know that they have their back and that they appreciate everything that they are doing to help them. It goes both ways, you know, um, gratefulness, thankfulness. I mean, this is, this is not a one-way thing. This has gotta be reciprocal. Um, and so, you know, what things can you be doing to help your, your company? If, you, if part of your work you can't do, what can you be doing to benefit the company? Do you have extra bandwidth? What can you do at home to help that business that's supporting you and, and is trying to make things make through, through this very difficult time? You know, I don't know because every business, is, but challenge yourself. Think about it. Be proactive in thinking about what you, you can do to help others, the business, uh, your peers. <clears throat> um, 
what can you do to invest in yourself? I'm not saying I have a problem with Netflix. I like to watch a show once in a while too and clear my mind, but could you be investing into learning a new skill, whether that's software development? What about learning about leadership? What about you know, managing people? What about the next technology trend? If you know, you're in video, as I'm looking at my video guy, you know, uh, editing video. What about, you know, there's so many different online courses. Don't waste your time. Don't waste it. Invest into yourself. That invest into your future because things will adapt. Things will come back. Things will change. There'll be new challenges we face. So put yourself in a better position tomorrow than you are today. That's it. Every day, it's not about perfection. We're talking about progress. If every day you just move forward, not it's not a sprint. You just keep moving forward and making progress. That's all we want. In business, I'm like, we're fine. As long as we keep making progress, we don't make the same mistakes. We're going to be more than fine. We're going to be doing great. So I encourage you to look at yourself and what can you be doing? And, and that could be for your marriage. If you have issues in your marriage relationship, well, if you're investing no time into it, how good is it going to be? If you're not investing any time into your, your, your business, your skill, how, how good is it going to go? If you're not investing time in your, to, to your kids, how is that going to go? And so evaluate your life, find out what's important, put action behind it, not just thought. Remember, uh, we judge ourselves based upon our thoughts. Everyone else judges us based upon our actions and the actions um, is what really, really matters. So if you're gonna talk about it, be about it. Again, I'm encouraging you guys, I'm praying for you guys. I know this is a difficult time. Focus on what you can do, focus on getting through this. Use this as fuel uh, to invest in yourself and I'll be looking to seeing you guys uh, on the other side. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget to uh, like, uh, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you thought about this. Hopefully uh, you, you feel empowered. Hopefully you feel encouraged. Um, also bring up any other um, ideas or subjects you want me to go more into depth on. I'd love to answer that. Um, I really appreciate it. This is for you guys. Um, I want it to be beneficial. I want to encourage you uh, in your journey. Thanks again. And until next time.